bouncy house. We pounce and then we bounce. Hey, Ollie, what you doing? I'm watching Pouncy on Pouncy House. Oh, I like Pouncy. Can you subscribe? Yes, Mom. Oh. We pounce and then we bounce. Hey, Facebook, how are you? Um, I wanted to do a quick little video on today I was at the beach and I just noticed there's a huge difference. God, it looks like I got so much hair. And I do. This is all my hair, by the way. It's crazy. I look at this, it looks like I have a, like a lion's mane. Anyway, um, I was at the beach today with my girlfriend and um, literally she's blistered her face. Because I told her that the sun is volatile. <laughs> It takes no prisoners. It's pretty, um, pretty scary. Um, and the idea is, is that we are suffering from climate change. I know there's some people out there that want to believe that this is all uh, political. But it's really not political. I mean, when you really look at it, we're looking at... We're looking at um, the same thing that happens all the time. It's like divide and conquer. If you divide people, then they're going to all be fighting and talking about like, oh, well, you know, I believe this and I believe that. And, you know, really, I say I don't give a fuck what people believe. The bottom line is, is that we are catapulting climate change. And how we're doing that is based on our living conditions. Now, this isn't about pointing fingers or making you feel bad or anything like that, because uh, on my journey, I've never done that to people because I know that it's a process. We have to all be conscious and it's a process of walking through life and saying, you know, do I really need that new rug? Do I really need that new sofa? You know, you kind of use things until they're completely, um, until you can't use them anymore. Um, there's a lot of people who are very, very, um, they're just not considerate um, towards the planet. They just keep buying new things and disposing of things and then that's in a landfill and, and you know, I know it sounds ridiculous, but if you look at all the humans across the planet and all the trash and all the production of food and food waste and um, they say, oh, recycling, but there's a lot of stuff that goes into landfills full of dyes and chemicals and all this other stuff. I mean, I'm going to do another video on this later because... Um, but what I wanted to say is just like, it's not really political. We need to stop looking at it in that frame of mind. It's like we're all human beings. We pretty much have similar makeup. I wouldn't say we, we are all created equal. That doesn't have anything to do with religion or skin color, so don't get all defensive. This has to do with how you walk through life. And if you are a person of God and you really go to church every Sunday and you're like, you know... Um, praying to God and thanking Jesus for being present in your life and you know you're very accepting to the angels that are around us then you really should be a warrior on this planet about the earth because God created it and he didn't just create it for humans he created it for all the species that are on it and every day human beings are destroying the planet <coughs> big corporations are DuPont is one of them but there's several other ones that are they go out into the ocean and they dump or one of the big, uh, what do you call those, uh, shipping containers. They can lose two or three of them in the ocean full of toys and plastic. That's why you see whales coming up on the water with toys in their stomach and all different types of plastic. And it's just, it's like everyone's gone mad and everyone wants to shut down and say, oh, I don't have anything to do with it. But you do, because if you go out and buy bottled water, you're playing a small part in the big picture. No need to. If you were going to Survivor Island or if you were going somewhere right now, I guarantee you'd say, oh, got to go grab myself my water bottle and fill it up. You wouldn't even think about going to the store and buying a bottle of water because there would be no fucking store there. There's monkeys in the tree, fucking bananas, no water. So, you know, you, it's about being aware and thinking ahead and saying, hmm, maybe I need to go buy a canister and fill it up with water, put it in my fridge, and then just carry it out the door. Now, on occasion, you might forget. And if you forget, then I guess you need to go out and buy something. You know, every now and then, that's different. But it's about the overproduction of these types of products that is causing, and it's like no one's paying attention because they're only looking at their life. So we have to get rid of 
I don't know how to build humans consciousness up. I'm, I'm really on the planet, uh, I think to help people with that. And I know that there's a lot of other light workers out there that are willing to be on the same plane as I am. And they're already doing some of these things. Um, I just hope that with some of my words, they come across in a way where everyone understands that this is a planet that we are really renting space on. When you really look at the scope of life. God created this beautiful planet. Wow. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of other beautiful planets, but wow to this planet. Why wouldn't we want to say, hey, especially if you're children, hey, wow, I don't want to destroy it. Climate change is based on human beings' consumption on this planet. They are pushing. They, the climate change would happen sooner or later. Every so many years or so many, uh, what is it, decades or... Um, I can't figure the word right now. It, 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 it's every so many thousands of years that this actually takes place. Um, however, this particular situation that we're dealing with is heating of the earth. It's CO2s. And it's cutting down trees, which people are stopped doing that, but cutting down trees, because when they cut down trees, the CO2 goes into the ozone and it causes even more heating effect. However, it's also due to our livelihood. And I'm not saying that you have to walk a perfect path. It's not about be per being perfect. It's just about being aware and looking online and saying, what are the things that I can do to live a, a, a cleaner lifestyle? And one is, I would say, be very careful of what you buy. Say, oh, maybe I don't want to buy so many meats and poultries. And if I do, I want to buy from a company that has, that treats the animals humanely. That's very important, right? I don't think you'd want to be on a farm and treat it inhumanely and killed the way they kill these chickens and cows. And you might not want to compare yourself to them, but in the scope of things, they're live beings just like you are. So how dare you think that they're less than you? The idea is, is that when you eat them, you thank God for them offering their lives to you. That's what the Indians did, and that's what I think all human beings should do. But in essence, I'm not going to get into all the logistics of that because I'd be here all day. That's going to come in a, pound, a pouncy house video down the road. But I just wanted to explain to people that we could do things, you know, your products in your home, your cleaning products, your air fresheners, all that stuff that you blow in the air, that Febreze shit, that's all full of carcinogenic products anyway. They're full of chemicals. They're bad for your body. I mean, you know, you got to go the natural way, tea tree oil. And I'm not saying you're not going to pick up a bottle of Clorox every now and then and clean your sink. Because on occasion, I do. And I've been green for years. But sometimes I'm like, i got to clean this sink. It's funky. You know, and sometimes I use vinegar and, and uh, baking soda. But there's on occasion, I do use bleach. It's just a matter of saying, okay, I'm not going to do this every day. Or I'm not going to do this every week. And I'm going to watch my purchasing power. And who am I buying from? And that's it. And maybe grown your own farm or or you know not farm but like your own little produce and if you can't do that then you go to whole foods and in whole paycheck you can't go there then you go to your local um farmer's market and you buy from those those people because they're it's local and you know i mean that's the best way i could put it but i i do know that climate change is happening due to human beings and we need to stop making it political because making it political makes people fight back and forth and say no yes no yes when in essence if humans just said if there's a one percent chance that human beings are contributing to climate change wouldn't it be intelligent to just say hmm if there was a one percent chance that i'm causing the climate to change on planet earth why wouldn't I want to do something to try to reverse it? That's what Leonardo's been trying to say to people. There's a lot of other guests, wonderful speakers out there. So hopefully I said something in this um, message that makes sense to you, that maybe you can inbox me, or maybe you want to watch my videos and say, hey, this makes sense. So anyway, on that note, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the weather. And try not to be in the sun too long because my girlfriend today got pretty burnt. And I told her that you are like sitting a sitting hot dog. <laughs> anyway, so um, have a good rest of your day and um, a good weekend. Bye-bye. We pounce and then we bounce. Don't forget to like Pouncey's video. And subscribe.